Welcome back. So on this model, we'll be teaching you how to create stories, edit your stories, and also also generate stories depending on what you want to do. So for this model, we are trying to get it's going to be a three story. So you come to your structure tree, you click on your story, left click on it, and you right click on it. I'm going to give you a list of things if you want to select a story, insert a story, generate a story, delete a member in stories, remove story, edit story, and all of that. So now we want to insert a story because it's a three story. This is just one story we have done, so we are going to insert a story. I'm going to ask you the story number. This is three story building we want to do, so we are going to add, we are going to write three. Please note, you wouldn't say because you have a story one, so when it's asking for a story number, you're going to add two, right? You're going to use three if that's the total number of stories you're having. If you add two, it's going to just add one. It's going to already count this one that it already created automatically for you as one. Then add another one, which is making it two. But now that I've added three, the first one you did was one. It's going to add two more to make it three. So for now, we are going to use the inserted story height of three meters or three thousand millimeters. And for now, we're not going to jump. So we're going to just click OK. Click, click yes. Is going to generate more stories. If you come to a structure tree, you realize you have story one, you have story two, you have story three, as I said earlier. All right? You can also come to your story, click on your story left, click on it, right click on your story. You can come to edit story. You're going to be editing story. You click on is this story. What this means is the levels, different levels of your story. So for here, the first the level of the first one is about three meters. You can change that to let's use a story height of three thousand two hundred. Use this of three thousand two hundred. You can use this as three thousand two hundred also. Okay, if you notice the levels are changing. This is the total height of it. In the level you can decide to change the levels of your stories if you want to change the levels of your story. If you want to change the level, you can decide to change the level if you don't want to call it story like story one you can decide to change the levels and all of that stuff so this is you can come here you have your first story bottom level at zero if you want if the bottom level of the story was below ground level you can actually put minus and put or if your story one bottom level if it's above ground level you can also insert here but then we are using normal ground level of zero so for your foundation depth can leave it as 1.1 but let's use a 1.5 foundation depth footing level is f footing description you can keep it there that you can change much later and you press ok and you press ok so you have edited that so now we are going to generate there are different ways of doing this you can come to you know you have remember so if you check your 3d view if you notice you check your 3d you realize that there's nothing there's nothing showing if you click from a 3D view, click, click from your structure tree, come to story 2, click on story 2. You see, that's taking your access to the next story. Come here, click on story 3. That's taking your access to the next level, but then there are no members there. You can decide to come to story 2, your plan view, come to your story 2, and you know, start from scratch doing what we did before to you know, fix, put the members, and fix the members which most of the time will take your time but then since whatever story we did since the story one is similar to the story two this story one is similar to story two we're going to be generating the story so we're going to come to story one because this is where it has members that want to generate story one come to your story you right click on it generate story click on generate story it's going to ask you this is the source story the source story is story one please do note that you have to be on the level that you want to generate to to generate to other stories. You cannot be on story two to try to generate it to not allow you to generate. So we are on story one. This is where we have a member story one. So what is our target story? Our target story is story two. You hold your control and press story three to highlight both. Or alternatively, if you just want to put this on story two, you can leave it on story two, or you can leave it on any one. But then this member type to be generated. What now? What do you want to be generated? If you don't want columns to be generated, you can just untick it. But then we want to generate columns, share walls, and everything. We want to generate everything. Alright? So you can also try to replace existing columns. In case, in case, 
on the other story you had on the next story you inserted the member without knowing you can replace existing columns and press ok yes and the process will be completed you come to, to appreciate what you've done you come to your story to the 3d view and this is what we have this is what we have we have a first story a second story and a third story this is what we have